Good evening, I'm here with Rebecca Lee Funk. She has organized the first and only pop-up shop here in Washington, D.C. for the Women's March on Washington. Tell us about what community means to you and all the women who gathered here to support you. Sure, I guess um, for me, community is all different kinds of people uh, coming together for, for one cause. And this, which is insane. And look over there, look how many people just in the store, but they are lined up around the block. So many people that are in here that are purchasing merchandise to literally go out and Saturday Saturday, go out and march on Washington. Yeah. So with that, what is inspiring to you to be here every single day and work with these people that are supporting your movement? Sure. I think in the wake of the election, a lot of people, and women specifically, um, were wanting to do something and take action. And for me, having a feminist apparel brand, um, I kind of had this easy vehicle to do something. And so we immediately, after the election started, changing some of our collections to donate 100% to Planned Parenthood. But then when the march was planned, um, we developed a collection with the march and we're donating 100% of the proceeds from there to both fund the month, march, and travel. Um, so we funded buses from all over the country for women to come to the march. We have to stand up for something. I felt like, you know, I saw this coming together. I was really excited. Not necessarily upset about what happened, but just more concerned with how our future is going to look. So you got to stand up for something. So this represents your ability to grab onto the future and have, yeah. it, have it a chance to give it a path forward. Exactly, and holding our, our congressmen and our governments accountable. So bringing all these people together to support a cause, which yeah. you mentioned Planned Parenthood, what other objectives? If all these people are going to come out, they're going to march on Washington, what's the goal at the end of the day? What do you want to accomplish to, to bring people together and, and yeah. drive community? Yeah, well, I mean, we're just, we're marching for equality. Um, equality and I think um, the women's march, the organizers that we've worked with, mm -hmm. um, have put together a very progressive um, a statement, a mission statement, and, and we stand fully behind them. Fair enough. Yeah. And, and my last question I typically like to ask people, what advice would you give to the people that are out there in their own communities uh -huh. that want to host an event? What is like the this. most difficult piece of <laughs> all this together? What so, have you worked through? So I think like it's, the planning isn't so difficult. Um, it's more you can't anticipate what the demand is actually going to be. I didn't think that there would be a line down the block and around the corner for a feminist apparel brand. So I think um, having backup plans of if you get this big boom and if you go viral, who are you going to have to come in and help you? Yeah. And how many hours realistically do you really need to sleep a night? <laughs> and who yeah. have you had to come in and help you? Oh my gosh, well my neighbor was right over there. <laughs> That's my husband, my mom's in the back, my sister, friends, friends of friends of friends, and then complete strangers that have come in and they, they've seen how crazy it is and they're like, do you need help? Can we just stay here? Yeah. Um, so, so literally getting people to believe in what you're doing and then asking yeah. them for help and supporting them. Yes, and, and, and saying yes when someone offers help. Yes, that's Because the first couple of days, like, no, we're okay. And now I'm, if I even hear someone like five feet away, like, do you guys need help? I'm like, yes, we need lots and lots of help. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for sharing your time yeah, with me. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. yeah. Cool.